Have you ever been told to set big goals for yourself? I'm going to talk today about my feelings around that and I'm going to sort of maybe give you an alternative way to think about this because it's kind of a mixed bag in my view. The idea, I guess, of setting big goals for yourself is that, you know, you set this goal um, and you're going to start to feel maybe that you're pushing yourself outside your comfort zone towards that goal. And I understand that. And it's also a big enough goal that you're going to start to get excited about it. So that's good too. But the idea of having a big goal can also bring problems. And what I mean by that is, in my view, I think it's much more helpful to never see a goal as bigger than, well, bigger than what? Bigger than you. If you see your goal as this huge, huge thing, this big, important thing in your life, and compared to you, you're of second, secondary magnitude or secondary scale towards this goal, that can lead to sorts of pro all sorts of problems there because it's almost like the, the tail is wagging the dog it's like the gold is doing me rather than I'm doing the goal. I'm, pursu I'm pursuing or moving towards this goal that I set for myself. So I think there's nothing wrong with setting big goals, but you should never see the goal as bigger than you. Or another word I could use there instead of bigger is more important than you. Your own self-worth should always be bigger than any goal that you're pursuing. You see, if we, if we lose that perspective the goal our boundaries around the goal start to get really bad uh, again the goal starts to do us rather than we do the goal and my approach to personal productivity has always been about making conscious deliberate choices from ourselves and not have the goal sort of impose itself and start to dictate where our time and energy should be spent so yes there's nothing wrong with having big goals but no goal should be perceived as bigger or more important than you are. It doesn't matter how big it is. Okay, so we're back to focusing on self-esteem. And if you followed any of my other videos on procrastination, for instance, the root problem with procrastination is self-esteem. So framing it as this big goal, this really big thing. And well, if I manage to attain that goal, then that will make me a better person. That's problematic. So we want to start off with, with sort of a positive frame about who we are already before we even have attained the goal and really start to emphasize, look, no matter how this goal goes, I do want it, I have a preference for it, I'm open to it, but no matter how it goes, my self-worth as a human being is not at stake for this. This goal is not bigger than I am. No goal I could set for myself is bigger than me. So this is a way that we affirm our own self-worth and our own self-value. And our self-esteem starts to, well, it's, it's not affected by the goal. Self-esteem is, it's not really related to goals. We have these kind of fantasies sometimes that, well, once I achieve this goal, then I'll feel much better about myself. And, you know, ask anyone who's achieved a big goal how long that feeling lasts. And it's not very long until the next goal comes along. So we can kind of like spend our lives chasing these goals and it kind of prevents us from stopping and just saying, hang on a second here. Maybe there's an easier way to go about this a more enjoyable way to go about this. So once that self-esteem is our starting point, we tend to make a lot more conscious choices about how we proceed in a goal and also we have much healthier boundaries around the action required to fulfill the goal, to meet that goal. So I'm just making this video, I guess, to give you an alternative way to look at any, any of those messages you might see about setting big goals for yourself. Sure, be open to big things for yourself and don't be afraid to move very gently beyond your comfort zone not to blast through your comfort zone and terrify yourself necessarily because I don't like that approach. I think you should move to the edge of discomfort when you're moving towards a goal. But really the invitation here is just to let it sink in that no goal that you can ever take on is bigger or more important than you are. And I think that's a much healthier place to start. Guys, I hope this has been useful and as always, thanks so much for, for being with me here and I'll see you again soon.
Bye for now.